mind then. You are. To see what your dad's left. Oh, been out with fretting about. But what about all that money he told you about? You think if he had any reddish to his name and he ended his days in that godforsaken hospital? Probably didn't even own the clothes on his back. You never know, though. Hmm? He was a waster. And now he's gone and best forgotten. Your breakfast is stone cold. Yeah, I'm not hungry. That's not like you. We well, don't have to eat. There's no law about it. At least you got to say your goodbyes. What? You and your dad. That's something. I don't know why I bothered going. What would each of me? You're bound to be upset, love, I understand. I'm not upset. Will you stop going on? Oh, pardon me for trying to show some wifely concern. Mm. Mm. Don't know why I put up with that man. Are you sure this is going to keep people out? Sure as I can be. How's it going? Well, I hope it's going to be enough. You hope? You mean people still might be able to break in? Don't worry, eh? It's the best security system money can buy. Well, I should be at work. Are you sure that's a good idea? Well, Diane's expecting me. I'll tell her you're not up to it, eh? Oh, thanks. I will be safe here, won't I, Ray? Yes. Just keep all the windows and doors locked. Don't let anybody in. Can't afford to take any risks, OK? I'm gonna miss you, man. Well, it's not too late to come with us. I can you know that? It's not gonna be the same without you. I thought I'd hear you say that. You don't know what you're missing out on, Danny. The sun, the sea, the bronze beach babes all aching for their hearts to be broken. <laughs> hey, why don't you see it as a holiday? You know, come out for a couple of months, and if you don't like it, you can come back here. What do you say? Yeah, I suppose that's one possibility. Oh, great. I knew you'd see sense. And don't worry about your packing. I've done it already. <laughs> oh, you made a wise decision there. Huh? What decision? Uh, I got it, Dad. Look. Where'd you get that? From the bank. I threw that key away! I, I found it again. You're trying my patience, you are. I told you I am not interested. Oh. Well, can I open it, then? Why, ask me. You wouldn't have fetched it without my permission. Obviously, don't need my say so anymore. Right. Hey, there's... Look, there's a picture. Which one's my granddad? Is he the one with the hat? No, he's the one in need of a bath. And there's a bit out of a paper. What's it say? Don't know, it's, it's in foreign. Hmm. Yeah, what's this? Don't know. It's a bank book. Must be your dad's savings. Blimey. What? One million pesos. Is that a lot? Small fortune. See that? That's what he said. Where did my dad get his hand on this kind of money? Don't know. It's years old. Last deposit we made in 1964. Hey, it, it might have accrued interest. Crude interest. That's what savings do. I know, I'm just surprised you do. You might be rich, Dad. Nah, I'm not interested in this nonsense. Santiago. When am I going to be in Santiago? Your dad went to Santiago? Yeah, well, my dad went to a lot of places I wouldn't be seen dead in. It's pie in the sky, Sammy. Must be. Yeah, Louise won't be in today. Right. How is she? She's pretty shaken. I've tried to persuade her to leave, but she's not having any of it. Running away isn't always the solution. What, and staying is? You have no idea what that poor girl has been going through. I've turned my home into Fort Knox, but it's not enough, is it? Not if someone is really determined to get to her. I feel so useless, Diane. You know, some maniac is sending her death threats, and there's nothing I can do. I adore the girl, and I can't protect her. You're doing your best. I don't like a problem I can't solve. Dad, it's dead long and thin. What is? Chilly. See? How many more times? I'm not going to Santiago. Why not? Because I am happy here at home. So you went to Australia? 
<laughs> yeah, and what a fiasco that was. Look, I'm not swanning halfway round the world on the off chance that my good-for-nothing dad weren't lying through his teeth. But what about this? <laughs> That's proof, that is. I'm not leaving my family. Yesterday you said we'd be better off without you. Ah, it's like that, is it? You can't wait to see the back of me. No, I, I could come with you. Yeah, but what about Leeches and Bell? We'd come back rich and famous. We'd have enough money to pay the TV licence and stuff. Hasta la vista. You are? That, that's foreign for summit or other. It is never going to happen. It'd be an adventure. Look, can you prove categorically that any of this stuff is genuine? No. And just let it drop. OK. You know what would finish this off? Santa and his sleigh. What? Whoa, whoa, then. I'm not going back up that ladder. I nearly broke my neck. But you're still here, aren't you? Merry Christmassy. It is, isn't it? Mm. I'll get you one if you like. No, well, you can't. I'm not having a copy of me. Tricia, this is supposed to be the season of goodwill. What I'd really love is a grotto. It'd be a good advert for me shop. Santa's <laughs> little help, are you? I do my bit. I can get you a grotto. Can you? Yeah, I'll bring it round this afternoon. Great. <laughs> Well, if she's having a grotto, then I'm definitely having Santa and a sleigh. Sometimes less is more. Less is more? What kind of talk's that? I might have been viv thinking she can get one over on me. Kirk's been fed. He's asleep on the bus. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss you. Hey, well, feel free to come. Oh, I would if I could, believe me. Oh, I hope it all works out for you. Yeah, well, if it doesn't, I know who to blame. You're the one that said, follow your heart. Oh, and I stick by it. If I hadn't, I wouldn't be where I am today. Oh, well, that makes me feel really good, that does. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> well, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I do. You've got a good man in Zach. Take care of him. I will. Hey, maybe there's a Zach out in Portugal waiting for you. Oh, maybe there is. Let's just hope he's in his 20s. <laughs> With packs you could crack walnuts with. <laughs> <laughs> if I find him, I will send you a picture. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa, I don't know I'm going to manage without you as a shoulder to cry on. Me neither. We've been through some times there. Eh? Yeah, we have. Right, I'd better get out and bust before I talk myself no. out to go in. Reckon you had. Hey, bye, love. Bye. Ken will be sorry you missed you. No, I won't. Hey, what, will you send us a postcard? Of course I will. Some of you have been a really good mate to me. Have I? Yeah. We've got this for you. <laughs> well, without saying goodbye. I'm oh, just coming over. So you're definitely going then? Yeah, for a bit. A bit? No, oh, for Christmas. Little oldie. We'll be back before you know it. You don't sound too sure. No, I will. I swear. All right, well, good luck. I'm going to miss you. I miss you. Let's give us a call, yeah, and let us know how it's going. Are we? So we say it then? Yeah. Are you crying? My boyfriend's going to Portugal. What am I going to do, dance in the streets? You said you didn't mind me going. Did I? And then that's all right. Dolly, we've got to go, mate. We're going to miss the plane. Where's that fiance of yours? Oh, she's on her way, honest. Is that the charge of the light brigade in here? Please don't mention lights. Same again, Rodney. Uh, yeah. No, Louise? No, she's not up to it today. Well, I suppose you can't blame her. I read the obituary in the paper. Who would want to do a thing like that? I don't know. But I don't reckon stopping off work's the answer. She should be here, surrounded by her mates, instead of hiding at home, imagining the worst. Yeah. This. Change your mind, you know. No, what will be with Ollie? Well, just behave yourself. Don't get into any trouble because 
I'm not gonna be here to pick up pieces. Well, you'll be fine, I'm not the t-shirt. Hi! Been did nice to you today. Besides, not forever. We'll come and visit. I love you, you know that. Me too. Hey, you take care of my lad. I will do. you could do with some company. Yeah, well, I'm not sure I could. Nonsense. And this isn't just any old bottle of plonk, you know. It's very kind of you, but... But nothing. Look at the state of you. You need someone to cheer you up. And I'm not taking no for an answer. Why'd you keep your corkscrew? Hey! I want a word with you. Who left that rucksack in the hallway? I nearly broke my ankle. Sorry, that's mine. Danny's moving in with us. Oh, is he? His family have just flown to Portugal. We can't leave him on the streets. You don't mind, do you, Grandad? Do we have a choice? Thank you. <laughs> Where's he going to sleep? In the last room. Where? In Mike's old room. Oh. Well, that's all right, then. But I will be keeping an eye on you. Here we are. Is this it? The grotto's outside. Shall I get the lads to put it up? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> I didn't realise Ray had such good taste. In wine, I mean. Obviously, his taste in women is impeccable. Have you worked out who wrote this yet? You ought to throw it away. It'll only upset you. Yeah. It'll help you relax. Trust me. Hey. Hey, 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 you're shaking. I'm fine. You don't have to pretend with me, Louise. I know it's been a while since we went out together, but I still care about you. More than you can imagine. Shall we, uh, take the wine through to the living room, eh? Make ourselves more comfortable. Oh, I need the bathroom. OK. Uh, don't be long here. No Sam with you today. No, I'm giving him a wide berth. Very wise. Trish, will you get me a large G&T? Easy on the tea, eh? Oh, what's your problem? I have just spent the last four hours trips around Leeds Christmas shopping. Mm, not bought much. Tell me about it. You know, uh, Joseph wants one of these Spoogleman's for Christmas. Mm. Spoogleman? Oh, you won't find one of them. They're like gold dust. I know. I've tried everything. You know, I've tried every toy shop, every website. I've tried begging, bribing, even busting into tears. You know, it's going to be a flaming nightmare this Christmas if you don't get that precious toy. He's no picnic at the best of times, is he? I've even tried offering over the asking price. I thought money was supposed to talk. You must be talking to the wrong people. Why? Hey, do you know something I don't? Oh, Spoogleman's are there to be had. If you know where to look, you know what I mean? And where's that, then? <coughs> oh, come on, Zach, tell me. Uh, well, it costs you a lot of dosh. How much? A couple of hundred, at least. I'm not paying 200 quid for a kid's toy. He probably doesn't even know what a Spoogleman is. Fair enough. The offer is there to be had, that's all I'm saying. You wind me up? I wouldn't wind you up, your family. 200 quid? Yeah, cash up from. On your bag. Not going to materialise out of thin air. <laughs> Did you think I was born yesterday? Huh? I tell you what, you get the toy, Uncle Zach, and um, I'll give you the cash. 
You're a slippery customer, are you? Uh? Well, it takes one to know one, doesn't it? Diane! Diane, help me! Whatever's happened? Suddenly, he's, he's in my house. I, I don't know what to do. Calm down. Tell me what's happened. Oh, he came over with a bottle of wine and he, he started saying all these things. Rodney? He said he, he loved me and he still wants me. He was touching me. It was awful. Oh, come on. You're not telling me Rodney's the stalker. Louise? Louise, are you up there? You're making a mistake. Am I? He was only calling round to see how you are. We were talking earlier about how you shouldn't be left on your own. So you sent him round? I suppose in your eyes that makes me a stalker and all. I know what happened. And I know Rodney. Stalking's not his style. He's far too in your face for that kind of thing. Do you think I imagined it? What exactly did he say? He said that he cared about me more than I knew. Maybe he does. It's hardly a hanging offence, is it? So you don't think I should call the police? Not in this instance, no. Wouldn't do any good anyway. Never do anything. No wonder people take the law into their own hands. Now, hang on. You pointed the finger at Terry and Mac and look what happened to them. Don't make the same mistake. What's happening to me? I don't think I can cope with much more of this. You and me both, Pet. If I didn't have Ray, I don't know what I'd do. Can't be easy for him, either. What do you mean by that? Yeah, he was a bit wound up this morning. Who can blame him? Are you saying that Ray's cracking up? No, no, nothing like that. It's not just me that's suffering, is it? It's my friends. It's everyone who knows me. Dad! You'll never guess. He's got a silver mine. What? Your dad. Fat Pedro told me. Fat Pedro from Malt Shovel? Yeah. I showed him that newspaper clipping. He translated it. That there's this bank robber bloke. Only he's dead now. And nobody knew where he'd stashed all his money. Fat Pedro reckons that's how your dad got his hands on all them pestos. And I found this. In the lining of the bag. Fat Pedro says it's deeds to a mine. He tried to nick it off me. It's, it's got to be true if he tried to nick it. Well, Fat Pedro's always trying to get his hands on stuff that don't belong to him. What are these doing under Bell's mattress? I don't know what you're on about. I'm on about this letter about the television licence. Oh, I forgot about that. I would you in court yesterday. Yeah, well, I wouldn't worry about it. You were going to get fined whether you went to court or not. Courts don't like non-appearance. All you had to do was give it me. I'm sorry. We're in enough trouble without this adding to it. I want these debts sorting, Zack. I don't care how you do it. So you reckon Fat Pedro says all this stuff is genuine? Yeah. Maybe a man should have one big adventure. Something to be remembered by. Like your dad. Hey. Weren't a bad looking fella, were he? No, I, he looks like you. Mm. You reckon? <laughs> yeah, only uh, he ain't got the cap. <laughs> Probably I'll be a wild goose chase. But then again, how else am I going to keep us out of the poor house? So we're going. Mm. Lisa won't be happy. She ain't happy now. Yeah. Well, she ain't gonna know what we're planning. This is our secret. Right. I'm gonna give Lisa and Belle the best Christmas they've ever had. Cos this time next month, I shall be in Santiago. Don't you think I should have been consulted? Well, there wasn't time. Anyway, it's a good investment. Mmm, a grotto. Oh, people travel miles to see Christmas displays. It's good for business. We're looking forward to your contribution tomorrow. What contribution? The choir. Hasn't Viv told you? No, no, she hasn't. I'll let her explain what's what. Gabby's present. I hope there's room in your luggage. I'll manage. I'm going to miss not having her around on her birthday. So will I. 
Still, you'll get to enjoy a bit of winter sunshine. <laughs> oh, I'm only dropping Gabrielle off. I can't see me getting a suntan in the space of 12 hours. Bernice wouldn't have minded you staying longer. The bishop would have. Vicars don't take holidays at Christmas, remember? <laughs> no Tricia tonight. No, I sent her home. It was either that or listen to her banging on about her decorations. Don't remind me. Our house looks like Santa's grotto. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> we always push the boat out in my family. Why doesn't that surprise me? Well, I say we. Well, that's my sister, Caroline. Last year, she got the caterers in. You know, white gloves, silver trays, a full non tea. Can't wait to see what she's laid on this year. When are you going? Christmas Eve. You'll miss the carol service. I know, I was going to tell you, I don't like letting people down, but Caroline's family. You don't have to apologise. I'm sure we'll muddle along without you. I'll make sure the choir's up to speed. La 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 la. You see, you're a natural. Yeah, maybe you're right. La 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 la. Bob, you're scaring the customers. Sorry. I hope we're not going to regret getting those two involved. Oh. You okay? I will never understand women. I went to see Louise this afternoon. I was only there five minutes and she. Well, she vanished into thin air. Yes, she told me about that. Told you about what? I'll get you a large drink. You're going to need it. See what I mean? Yeah, I'd rather you than me. <laughs> She's only doing it to wind me up. Who's doing what? Me mum! Good grief. Impressive or what? Look, I'm here now. Ray, get me out of here. You want to go away? I don't care where. Well, what? I thought you said... Never mind what I said. I can't stay here, not now. Has something happened? I've just had it off, Ray, please. Are you sure about this? Yes. I want this to end. I want to get as far away from here as possible. 